Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today it's been a while but we are playing some more out of the park baseball 22 with my Montreal Expo is historical thing while a little bit in pain now to help with the pain I am going to take my medication right now which means that by the end of the episode I might start to feel a little loopy I apologize for that, but uh, it's kind of needed. Alright, so with that being said, uh, today we're going to go ahead and continue the four-game series against the Giants. Um, we split the first two games, we lost the first one, then we lost the second, uh, we won the second one, sorry, 6-2 pretty good effort all around where we saw Ruben Rivera hit his first MLB home run so that was pretty cool so today we're gonna be uh, facing John Burkett and we're gonna be sending Randy Tomlin now Tomlin had a pretty good start in his last start against the Braves really gave us a chance to win really he made two mistakes it was two Ryan Klesko solo blasts but other than that he was near perfect so really good start for him and John Burkett looks like he's struggling this season now Burkett in real life was not a bad pitcher not a superstar but he was he was decent it was good so oh yeah he's I don't know what's going on with him but you know the past two seasons he had a decent record of 14 and 12 both seasons but it looks like it's a looks like he's struggling with control a little bit this season so hopefully we can take advantage of that all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this party started now typically i would have done the other two games yesterday after a short break but i kind of explained my situation so yeah that didn't quite happen that way all right so we have some tired players so we're gonna need to bring in the subs or the bench players so tony pena gets to play and who am i gonna put in left for ivan calderon Ru ruben rivera doesn't have oh he does have a rating he has six well, i guess ruben rivera it is Now the good thing uh, with Woody Green being back is that I can put him in the fourth spot and you know I don't look too stupid doing that. So All right, so I think we're going to try with Ruben Rivera hitting sixth here. He still doesn't, doesn't have a very good batting average. I'm hoping that he can raise that up a little bit. All right, so that's going to be my lineup for game three of the four game series we are going to be facing darren lewis marvin bernard matt williams fred mcgriffson nearing steve decker alan trammell and adam eisdu so it looks like johnny damon is getting the day off today all right so they are giving the advantage to most everybody except the top two hitters get that thing started I should have my viewing settings saved I do so that's good so of course go expose and play ball all right so the shields is gonna go ahead and get us started here in the top of the first facing John Burkett now Burkett like I said is struggling he's three and nine this season so it's been tough for him in San Francisco this year all right, so 0 and 1 on the shields. That's it weekly to second base, and the shields is out. One second baseman grounds out to the other. That brings up Marquis Grissom, 1 and 1. That's it. Oh, that's it pretty good. That's going to be extra bases for Grissom. It was just short of a home run. Just a couple feet off. All right, stand up double for Marquis Grissom. So now we have a runner on second base. One out, Mark Witten is the batter. 0 oh, 2 to Mark Witten. 
and he struck out swinging. At least he went for it. That doesn't that doesn't make me as upset. All right, Woody Green is now the batter. There's two outs, and we still have Grissom at second base. Full count on Woody Green, and he struck out swinging as well. All right, so we get a double from Marquise Grissom, but he gets to stay at second base, and it is 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, so Darren Lewis is going to be the first one to face Randy Tomlin. No count on Lewis. That's it too short. Ray Sanchez with the throw, and he's out. That's one out. Marvin Bernard is the next batter. No count on Bernard. It's it to center. Grissom after it. And he catches it for the second out. Now Matt Williams is the next batter. 0-2. Oh, that's it pretty well. That's going to be a home run. Oh, yeah. All right, so subtle blast from Matt Williams, and uh, unless I'm mistaken, because it was yesterday, but I believe the Giants took a one nothing lead in every each of the games so far. All right, Fred McGriff is next, 1-0 and to McGriff. That's it to left. And Rivera catches it for the third out. So Tomlin gives up a subtle blast to Matt Williams, who has quite a bit of power. And it is one nothing for the Giants here. All right, Billy Doran is going to be the first batter here in the second inning. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, as Billy Doran grounds out the third, we are having storms here in my area. A pretty severe thunderstorm, so if I disappear, uh, that's probably going to be because of a power outage. All right, so Ruben Rivera is the next batter, 2-0. All Grounds it to second. Nearing with the throw, and Rivera is out. That's two outs. Ray Sanchez is next, 0-2 oh, to Ray Sanchez. That's it to short. All right, pretty easy inning for John Burkett. We're down 1-2-3. And now that brings up Tim Nearing to bat here in the bottom of the second. Two and two. And he struck out swinging. There you go. Steve Decker is next. No count on Decker. And that's an opposite field single for Steve Decker. And the Giants get on base here with a single with one out. And that brings up Alan Trammell. 2-1 to Trammel. It's it to center. Grissom after it. He catches it for the second out of the inning. The runner has to go back, so he doesn't advance. And now Adam Eisdu is going to be the next batter. 2-2. Two and two. Grounds it to first. Doran catches it, and he touches the base for the third out. So the Giants do get a single, but they are unable to score. But they still lead 1-0 after two innings. All right, Tony Pena is going to be the first batter here in the top of the third. 0-1 oh, to Tony Pena. That's it to first base. Pretty weak liner, and it's easily cut by McGriff. One out. Randy Tomlin is next. 1-1 one one to Randy Tomlin. And that's... Oh, that's a single to center. It was a comebacker to the pitcher. I think it got close to his face or something. All right, so runner on first, one out. Delino the Shields is now the batter. Two and two to Delino. That's it. Oh, that's it pretty well. That's extra bases. Come on, Tumlin. Run, run, little guy. Come on. Uh, he, owes, uh, he owes on at third base. So that's a double for the Shields. We have runners on second and third now with one out. And that brings up Marquise Grissom to the plate. Full count to Grissom. Come on, man. Ugh. That's it weekly in foul territory. That's cut by McGriff. There's two outs now. Runners on second and third still, but now we absolutely need a hit from Mark Witham, who struck out in the first inning with a runner in scoring position already. 2 0. He won't strike, strike out this time. Another weak pop fly foul. Wow. So. 
we got two runners in scoring position with one out and then we it, we hit two very weak pop fouls and that was it for us all right john burkett is the first batter in the bottom of the third oh and two to burkett struck out swinging Darren Lewis is next. Two and two. Struck out swinging as well. All right, that's two strikeouts here. Marvin Bernard is next. Two and one. That's it weekly to right with and after it. He catches it for the third out. All right, so the Giants go down one, two, three. Now in the top of the fourth, we're gonna go with Weedy Green. One and two. Oh, he struck out looking. Oh, Weedy, 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 that's two strikeouts for him in this game. Bill Doran is next, oh and one. That's it, right, that's gonna be it, it falls in. It wasn't hit very hard, but it falls in, so it's a base hit. We have a runner on first now. One out, Ruben Rivera is the batter. One and two. He struck out swinging. So John Burkett is having one of his best starts of the season so far. And now Ray Sanchez is going to be the batter. One and oh. That's it to center pretty weakly. Ice do catches it and that's the third out. All right, bottom of the fourth, Giants are going to go with Matt Williams. 0-2 to Matt Williams. And he hit it weakly to center, Grissom after it. He catches it for the first out. Fred McGriff is next. Full count on McGriff. I wouldn't mind walking in. Or, you know, a fly out to center works too. Grissom catches that one as well. That's two outs. Now, Tim Nearing is the next batter. Full count on Nearing. It's it weekly. Ray Sanchez after it catches it. And wow, the, the number three, four, and five hitters are down in order. That's pretty good. So Tomlin is pitching pretty good again, but we are unable to give him any offense. All right, so Tony Pena is going to be the first batter in the fifth for us. No count on Pena. That's it weekly to second base, and he's out. That's the first out of the inning. Randy Tomlin is next. He has a hit already. One and two. That's it to center. Ice do after it. He catches it for the second out. All right. Now we need a... We need something from the line of the shields here. One and two. That's it to right for a hit. All right. So that's a single for the shields with two outs, which brings Marquis Grissom to the plate. Oh, and one. Oh, the shields is going. That's bold. I don't mind that. All right. The shield steals. There wasn't even a throw. So now we have a runner in scoring position for Grissom that's it right at the third baseman Matt Williams he catches it and that's the third out I tell it maybe it would be a hit and you might be hearing the thunder in the background I don't know how much my microphone is picking it up all right Steve Decker first batter in the fifth inning for the Giants Two and two. That's it to right. With and after it. And he catches it for the first out. Alan Trammell is next. Full count to Trammell. And he struck out swinging. That's two outs. Adam Eisdu is next. Two and two. It's it to left. Rivera barely has to move. And he catches it for the third out. Alright, so the Giants go down 1-2-3, but it, they are still up 1-0 thanks to that Matt Williams solo blast in the first inning. Mark Witten is going to be the first batter in the sixth for us, 2-0. and Oh, that's it to center, that's going to be a hit. 
Alright, so Mark Witten gets on base. So Woody Green is the batter with nobody out. Runner on first, one and one. That's it. Weekly to center. Ice do after it. He catches it for the first out, and he tried to get Witten back at first, but he was back in time. Bill Doran is the batter now, no count, and that's it to short, and that's a double play, oh boy. Alright, so the Giants get out of that jam, well it wasn't really a jam, they get out of that inning, I should say, and we're going in the bottom of the sixth with the Giants still up 1-0. Right, Tomlin is going to pitch to John Burkett first, 2-2 two and two to Burkett. And Burkett strikes out looking. That's the first out of the inning. Alright, so Darren Lewis is the next batter, 1-2. and two. Struck out swinging as well. Wow, Tomlin is pitching well. That really sucks. We cannot give him some offense. Uh, Marvin Bernard is the next batter with two outs, two and two. And that's it to third. Woody Green with the throw, and he's out. All right, the Giants are still up one nothing in that game. Ruben Rivera is going to be the first batter in the seventh, two and two. Struck out swinging. That's one out. How many pitches for Burkett? 79. Dang, they're not going to pull him. All right, Ray Sanchez is next. No count on Sanchez. That's it to right. And it falls in for a hit. All right. So we've had seven hits, but a lot of them were very weakly hit. We haven't hit the ball with much authority in this game. All right, so one out for Tony Pena. No count. That's it to second, and that's a double play. Uh, boo! Boo! Boo, Tony Pena, you whined that you wanted to be in the starting lineup, and you play like that all the time. All right. Matt Williams is going to be the first batter for the Giants in the bottom of the seventh. 0-1. That's it weekly to the pitcher. And that's an infield hit. All right, so Matt Williams gets a second hit of the game. He had a homer in the first. And now Fred McGriff is going to be the batter. One and two. Oh, yeah, that's gone. All right, that's three nothing for the Giants. I guess I can take Randy Tomlin out. All right, they have a bunch of righties coming. I'm gonna do a double switch here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get Todd Annie in. He had a good game last game, so let's reward him with some more playing time. This time he's gonna play at shortstop, and I guess I'm gonna have Rick Motter use his old arm. There you go. Alright, so Tim Nearing is going to be the batter now. So it's 3 0 Giants now. There's no outs in the bottom of the seventh. 0 oh 2. That's it weekly. And Todd Ainey gets it. That's the first out of the inning. Steve Decker is next. 0 oh 1. Uh, 1 0, oh, sorry. That's it to center. Grissom gets it. That's two outs. Alan Trammell is the batter with two outs, full count. That's it to left. Ruben Rivera goes casually after it, catches it for the third out. But the Giants get two, run two more runs on a Fred McGriff blast. It is now 3 0 for the Giants. We're not able to do anything against John Burkett, so yeah. Hi, right, Todd Ainey is the first batter in the top of the eight, one and zero. Oh. So Ainey came in as part of the double switch. That's it to short, and he's out for the first out. The line of the shields is next. Two for three today, one and one. That's it.
that's it, right? That's his third hit of the game, and he didn't come to score not even once. We've been unable to capitalize on our chances. All right, the shields at first went out. Grissom is next. Owen won. That's it. Weekly to left. And that's cut by Trammel for the second out. All right, so now we have two outs. Mark Witten is the better. Hard hidden Mark Witten. Although lately it's been weak hitting Mark Witten. Three and one. That's it to center. Eyes do after it. And he catches it for the third out. So the Expos are going to have one last inning to try to score some runs here. All right, so Adam Ice Do is the first batter to face Rick Mahler in the bottom of the eight, three and zero, oh. and he walks. All right, John Burkett stays in the game. He's probably gonna bunt. Yep. All right, so the sacrifice works. So Ice Do gets to second base, and there's one out now for Darren Lewis. One and two. And he struck out looking. Or is it looking like he checked his swing? It looked like a strike anyway to me. But anyway. Alright, so Marvin Bernard is now the batter. There's two outs. There's still a runner on second base. 1 0. Oh. That's it to center. That's going to be a base hit and a run. Yep, that's a single for Marvin Bernard. And it is now 4 0 Giants in the bottom of the eight. Matt Williams is next, 1-0. and oh. oh, Bernard goes, there's not even a throw. So Tony Pena, you whine to play, you don't even try to throw runners out and you hit into double plays. You're not really making a case for yourself here. Two and two. That's it weekly to right, Witten after it. And he catches it for the third out, but the Giants add one more run. It is now 4-0 for the Giants going into the top of the ninth. We're going to need a small miracle from the Expos here. All right, so Woody Green is first, 2-2. Two and, two. and he struck out swinging. That's his third strikeout of the game. Bill Doran is next, 3-1. Alright, Bill Doran walks. I'm gonna keep Rivera and I'm gonna keep my left bat just in case. That's it to left. Alright, so we have runners on first and second now with one out. And I have one guy that can hit from the left side. It is Brett Barbary. So we're gonna bring him as a pinch hitter. Hopefully he can do something. Full count to Barbary. And that's it to center. Oh, that might be good for a run here. And it is, no, they didn't send him. Oh God, okay. All right, so there's, the bases are juiced. There's one out and Tony Pena is the batter. I don't trust Tony Pena one bit with that situation. We're, I, I'd rather have a, you know what? I'd rather have a tired Ivan Calderon come to it for him. One and oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, Grand Slam for Ivan Calderon, and the game is tied at four. We did get a little miracle after all. Wow. So with just one swing of the bat, the game is tied at four. That's pretty cool. All right, Todd Ainey is the next batter. They still are keeping John Burkett in that game. There's one out. Oh, the thunder is pretty loud now. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Alright, that's two outs. The, the Shields is the next batter. One and two. Oh, he struck out looking. Alright. Alright, um, what do I want to do here?
I need to bring Charles Johnson in. I don't really have a choice about that. Alright, and then the... Uh, oh, God. I guess I'm going to bring Kerrigan in. All right, let's go like this. All right, so Kerrigan is going to be pitching lefty on lefty. I'm hoping for a good result here. Full count to Fred McGriff. Oh, that's it pretty weakly. Todd Ainey is pretty casual there, and he catches the ball for the first out. Tim Nearing is the next batter. Two and one to Tim Nearing. Oh, that's it to left. Ruben Rivera after it. He catches it for the second out. Steve Decker is next. Two and two. That's it to third. Woody Green with the throw, and he's out. All right, so the Giants go down one, two, three in the bottom of the ninth. So we have extra baseball today. We have free baseball. All right, so Jeff Montgomery is going to be the pitcher now for the Giants. Marquise Grissom is going to be the first batter to face him in the tenth. No count on Marquise Grissom. That's it to short. Oh, and it's an infield single. All right, so now we have Speed at first, and we have Mark Witten as the batter. No count. Grissom's going. There's not even a throw. Ho, ho, ho. 46 stolen base for Marquise Grissom this season. Mark Witten is now going to be batting with a runner in scoring position. 1-0. and Oh, they decide to walk Witten to enact the double play for Woody Green. Green had a tough go at the plate this game. He struck out three times. So we have runners on first and second with nobody out. Three and one. Oh, and he walks in. Bases juiced with nobody out here in the top of the tent. That brings up Bill Doran as the next batter. One and oh. Come on, Biddy. That's that that that's it. Oh yeah. And the Expos take their first lead of the game on a RBI single by Bill Doran in the top of the tenth. That's pretty exciting. Ruben Rivera is the next batter. Still no outs, still bases loaded. No count. That's it to right. I don't know if it's deep enough. It's not. All right, so the runner cannot advance, so there's one out now. And we have Charles Johnson still with the bases loaded. No count. And that's a base hit. Oh, yeah, Charles Johnson comes through like he's done so often for me. And we score one more run. It is 6-4 now, and we're going to bring in a... I only have one player left, Lance Blankenship. Alright, so base is loaded, one out, Lance Blankenship is not a batter, no count on Blankenship. That's it. Oh, that's gonna be a Alright, so they got the lead run it was it to the second baseman who was playing in. They got the lead runner at home, but they couldn't get the Lance Blankenship at first, so there's no double play. So we have two outs, still the base is loaded with Todd Ainey the batter now. No count on Ainey. That's it to center. That should be the third out. No! <laughs> I do miss the ball. Wow. All right, so it's a base clearing double for Todd Ainey, and it's now 9 4. Todd Ainey has had a really good game in the prior game as well. All right, that, uh, Brian Ickerson is now the pitcher for the Giants, and now the line with the Shields is going to be the batter for us. Two outs, runner on second, one and one. It to first. All right, and that's the third out, but the Expo score five times in the top of the tenth. It is now 9-4 for the Expo's. 
what a turn of events. I mean, the game is not over, don't get me wrong, but still. Uh, it is not a safe situation. Let's go with Doris. Alright, so Alan Trammell is the first batter in the bottom of the tent, 0-1-1. That's it to second base. The shields with the throw, and there's one out. Adam Ice do his next. Couldn't catch that ball. 0 and 1. Grounds it to second. The shields with the throw. That's the second out of the inning. Now, finally, Brian Banks is the next batter. That's the Giants' last out here in the bottom of the tent. 1 and 2. Oh! Well, we hit. Brian Banks. So now he's at first base with Darren Lewis, the batter, two and one. That's it too short, and it's an infield single. Alright, Marvin Bernard is next. Are they going to make a game out of this? Two and one. That's it to third. And we get the guy at second to until the animation showed that he was safe. All right, well, that's one heck of a game there. We had absolutely nothing going all game long. You can't even see the graph there. We had absolutely nothing going on in that game. John Burkett was on top of his game, and then all of a sudden we load the bases up in the ninth inning. Then I decided to actually manage the game by bringing in a pinch hitter for Tony Pena. And yeah, it paid off a grand slam. The rest is history. All right, so that was a pretty good game, all in all. Pretty happy with this. All right, so now we won two in a row against the against the Giants. All right, so twenty game hitting streak for Milt Kiter. Right, and we have we're gonna go ahead and sim the rest of today. Oh, what's going on here? Uh okay, so you took you took Kerrigan and Tumlin away from me and you gave me Carl Pavano and Ota instead. Tumlin pitched well since he came back from injury. You should have left me with him. I'm not sure I agree with those moves. But that's the beauty of playing manager only. I don't necessarily get a say in it. Alright, so the top 100 prospects list listed. We don't have anybody in the top 10. All right. Um, uh, what do I want to do here? Ota didn't pitch that badly. Well, he had a couple decent starts and then it kind of fell off the wagon a little. Now, Carl Pavano wasn't good in his one start. So I think I'm going to put Ota as the fifth. And then I get another long relief pitcher, I guess. Wow. Okay, Pavano, Pavano, Pavano. Let's go ahead and change you in here. There you go. Right, I think I'm gonna go with that. I think I'm still good there. All right, so I think I'm good for game four. So 
well, that was quite the comeback in this game. So for game four, uh, we are going to be facing Pedro Pena, and we're gonna go with Miguel Batista. Now, Pedro Pena, what, uh, what has he been doing here? He's five and seven. Yeah, I didn't pitch all that well so far this season. All right. Now it's Mark Witten's turn to be tired. All right. We're going to play Rivera again. He's not going to be batting fourth, so. There we go. He's going to bat seventh. I'm going to go with that. Now the Giants are going with Johnny Damon, Darren Lewis, Matt Williams, Fred McGriff, Sam Nearing, Adam Trammell, Brian Banks, and Adam Eisdu to face Miguel Batista. And we're facing Pedro Pena. All right, so... Right, so play ball. We have the shields to start the first inning here against Pena. One and oh, that's a bunt. Oh, yeah, he was almost safe, so he tried to bunt himself on, but. But he's out. That took for a while for the text to catch up. All right, so with one out, Marquis Grissom is going to be the batter now. 1-0 and to Marquis. Oh, that's it to center. Oh, that looked like it was it pretty good, but it was cut. So there's two outs now. Pedro Pena, the pitcher, still facing Ivan Calderon. No count. That's it to right. And that's cut by Lewis. And that's the third out. So we don't get a run, a hit, a walk, we get nothing. And we're going in the bottom of the first where the Giants might score a run for a f in the first inning for a fourth consecutive game. Hopefully not. Johnny Damon is the first one to face Miguel Batista, one and one. Grounds it to short. And we don't even attempt to throw that's an infield single. Alright, so Damon's at first. There's nobody out. Darren Lewis is the batter. No count. Damon is probably going. No, he's not. Alright, we get the lead runner at second on a fielder's choice, but we don't get the double play, so Lewis is safe at first. Oh, the Shields was injured, but he can remain in the game. Cool. All right, Matt Williams is the next batter. There's a runner on first one out. No count. Oh, that's a pitch out, and you're out, buddy. That's two outs now. Matt Williams, still the batter, three and one. That's it to left. And that's got by Ivan Calderon, and that's the third out. Right, Woody Green is now the batter to face Pedro Pena in the second inning, one and two. And he struck out swinging, so Pedro Pena is still having some issues here in this game as well. Right, Charles Johnson is the next batter, one and one. It's at weekly to third to Matt Williams, and he's out. That's two outs now. Billy Doran is the next batter. Full count, two outs. That's it down the line, but it's cut by McGriff, and that's the third out. The Expos go down one, two, three, yet again. And it's still, it is still nothing, nothing. All right, so Fred McGriff is the first batter for the Giants here in the bottom of the second. 0 and 1 to McGriff. It's at weekly with uh, not with a river after it. 
And there's one out. Team Nearing is the next batter. Full count to Nearing. That's a hit. Opposite field hit for Tim Nearing. Alright, and... The Giants have a runner at on first with one out. Alan Trammell is the batter, 0-1. That's it to left. And that's it really well. And that's a home run. So that's two runs on the board for the Giants. Two-run blast by Alan Trammell, his second home run of the series, and the Giants are up to nothing. Brian Banks is the next batter. No count on Banks. He hits it weakly to right, River after it, and he catches it for the second out. Adam Aizdu is next, one and two. And he struck out swinging. That's the third out. But the Giants get a two-run blast by Alan Trammell. And it is 2-0 for the Giants here after two. Ruben Rivera is the first batter here in the third, 0-2. And, and he struck out looking. That's one out. Ray Sanchez is next, 2-0. That's it too short. And he's out for the second out. Miguel Batista is next. Two outs. One and two. And he struck out swinging. Alright, so... Three perfect innings for Pedro Pena here. And we are going in the bottom of the third where Pedro Pena is the first batter. 0-2. Oh and, and he struck out looking. That's one out. Johnny Damon is next, one and two. That's the third out. Third strike, sorry, second out. My bad. Darren Lewis is the next batter, one and oh. It's it really solidly to short, and that's gonna be an infield single. So Lewis is safe at first after two outs, and we have now Matt Williams as the batter, one and oh. That's it to center, that's gonna be a hit. Oh, that's a good throw to third, and Lewis is out trying to get on third base on the play, so that kind of nullified that hit by Matt Williams. All right, so we're going to try to get something started here. We still haven't done anything this game, so that I know the shields is first. No count on the shields. It's it weekly to short, and he's out. Barely, but he's out. Marquise Grissom is next, 0 oh 2. It's it to right. And it's cut by Lewis. That's the second out of the game, of the inning, sorry. Ivan Calderon is next, 1 and 2. Played some heroics in the last game. It's it weekly to the pitcher, and he's out. Four perfect innings for Pedro Pena. I keep saying it, trying to jinx him, obviously. We know that's what's going on here. Fred McGriff is the first batter for the Giants here, one and one. Grounds it to short, and he's out. Tim Nearing is next. Tim Nearing has been playing pretty well against us. 0 and 1. That's another hit for Tim Nearing against us. All right, another opposite field it. Alan Trammell is next. Of course, we know what happened last time he was the batter. Two and two. It's it to the pitcher. And we get the lead runner at second. So that's a fielder's choice. There's two outs now. And Brian Banks is the batter. One and two. It's it weekly to right. Rivera after it. And he catches it for the third out. All right, so the Giants are still up to nothing here. And Witty Green is the first batter in the top of the fifth, two and two. It's a two center. Eyes do after it. He catches it for the first out. Charles Johnson is next, one and oh. That's it weekly to the second baseman, and he catches it for the second out. 
build around his next two and two grounds it to second and that's the third out all right adam ice do is the next batter for the giants no count on ice do grounds it to third green with the throw and he's out that's the first out here pedro pena is the next batter one and two and he struck out two outs johnny damon is next oh and one it's a too short and he's out all right it is still two nothing for the giants Ruben Rivera is the batter now, 1 0. Grounds it to first. And he's safe. That's our first hit of the game. The perfect game is broken up in the top of the sixth. Ray Sanchez is next, 0 oh 1. Grounds it to third. And, you know, the celebrations were. Uh, very short ear. Ray Sanchez hit in a double play. That brings up Miguel Batista with two outs now. And he struck out. And that's the end of the sixth inning for the Expos. At least we broke up that um, that perfect game. All right, Darren Lewis is next for the Giants. 0-2. Struck out swinging. That's the first out of the inning. Matt Williams is next. Full count. It's it to center. Grissom after it. And he cannot catch it. That's going to be a double. Alright, so the Giants have a runner on second base. One out. Fred McGriff is the batter. No count. And we're gonna walk him so that we enact the double play with Tim Nearing as the batter. He, he's two for two today. I'm not sure he's gonna hit into a double play at all. One and two. It's it weekly. Calderon after it. Come on, Ivan. Catches it. That's the second out of the inning. Alan Trammell is next. 0 oh and 2. It's it to third. And we get the four south at second. That's the third out of the inning. Top of the seventh. Now, as we know, that doesn't mean anything, right? Because we kept all of our run scoring till the late innings of the previous game. So I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing right now. We just have a sense for the dramatic. So the line of the shield is first here to face Pedro Pena in the seventh inning. Two and two. It's a two first. And he's out. Marquise Grissom is next. No count on Grissom. It's it weekly to center. Ice do after it. Catches it for the second out. Ivan Calderon is next. Two and two. Struck out swinging. All right. I mean, Batista hasn't been too terrible, but he hasn't been good either. He did give up seven eights. So I'm going to keep him in. Brian Banks is the batter now. 0 oh, 2. That's it. Too short. And that's going to be an infield single. So that's the eighth hit of the game for the Giants. Had a nice do his next. 1 0. Oh. oh, he's going. And he's safe. 2 0 oh, to Ice Do. Oh, that's it. Oh, there's a one more round scoring. Uh, I might have seen enough of Miguel Batista at this point. Yeah, nine hits. Yeah, it's time to go go see what somebody else can do. I think I'm gonna turn to Gabe White yet again. All right, Pedro Pena is the first batter to face Gabe White. Tries to bunt, but he misses. Tries to bunt again. 
And the sacrifice works, so the runner gets to third base, and there's one out now with Johnny Damon the batter, 0 and 1. He rounds it to third, and he's out. That's two outs, and the runner has to uh, stand still at third. Darren Lewis is now the batter, two outs, one and two. Come on, strike him out. That's it, too short. Oh, that's an error on Ray Sanchez. So the Giants score another run. It is now 4 0 with Matt Williams, the batter, 0 and 2. And he struck out looking. But the Giants add two more runs. And it is now 4 0. We've seen that scenario before. It was 4 0 heading into the. Actually, it was heading into the ninth inning. Right, Pedro Peña is still the pitcher, and we couldn't do anything against the starting pitcher again. So let's see if we still have some of that magic left. So Woody Green is the first batter here, three and zero. All right, Woody Green walks, so we have a runner on first, nobody out. Charles Johnson is the batter, full count. Struck out swinging. Bill Doran is next, one and one. That's it to right. That's gonna be a hit. And Woody Green gets to third on the play, so we now have runners on first and third with one out. And Ruben Rivera, the batter, one and two. That's it to first. All right, so fielder's choice, the runner from third scores, and Rivera is safe at first, so it is now 4-1. And we have two outs with a runner on first. Ray Sanchez is the batter, 0-1. That's it to left, and that's extra bases. That's it pretty well down the line, all the way into the corner. All right. All right, so we score a run on the plate. It is now 4-2 as Ruben Rivera scores. All right, so we have a runner on third, two outs. Let's bring in Brett Barbary. As a pinch hitter, the Giants are keeping Pedro Pena, two and two. Ugh, Barbary struck out looking. I should have brought in Todd Ainey, he's been playing good lately. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with DF for the, for the Giants eight. Right, first batter is Fred McGriff, so lefty on lefty. Full count on McGriff. Bottom of the eight, the Giants are up 4-2. And McGriff strikes out swinging. Tim Nearing is the next batter, one and two. It's a two short. And Sanchez gets that, that's two outs. Alan Trammell is now the batter, two and one. Grounds it to second, and that's the third out. All right. All right, so the Giants are bringing in Jeff Montgomery in a save situation. We have the line with the shields as the first batter here, two and two. That's it to first. And he's out. That's the first out of the inning. Marquise Grissom is next. One and one. That's it to first. And he's out. All right, two outs now for Ivan Calderon. Full count. Struck out swinging. And that's the end of the game. So we didn't have a magic comeback for this one. And we lose 4-2 against the Giants in the fourth and final game of the four-game series. So we couldn't do much against Pedro Pena. Alright, so I simmed all the way to the next game. So the next time out we're going to have a three game series in LA against the Dodgers. That's probably going to be tough. 
Alright, so... The best batter of the past week in the American League was Cal Ripken Jr. Oh god, he hit 542 that, during that week. And Barry Larkin was the batter of the week in the National League. Oh wow, here is a peak at the top five hitters leading the Major League Baseball in RBIs during daytime. Larry Walker is first, Manny Ramirez is second, Ivan Calderon is third, 33 RBIs during daytime. Maybe we should have all of our games move to daytime. All right, and we climb back up a little bit in the power rankings. I'm sure that sweep of the Braves helped, so now we're 22nd in power ranking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look over here. As usual, I want to see where Calderon stands. So he's still second in the major leagues in batting average. He's hitting 383. John O'Rood is first at 387. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save that here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here for today. Uh, I finished the Giants four game series so that's gonna be it for today as usual i do want to thank you for tuning in if you're watching that on youtube and that you would like to help support me and my channel please feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you